Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. We are starting or continuing, I'm going to say starting over, a series with my friend Doug Leedy here. Realestateknowledge.com is his website. You can see it scrolling, real-estate-knowledge.com. Um, he's got a really cool business model, a really cool approach, a great story. And we're going to, today, we're going to be talking about minorities in today's economy. Welcome, Mr. Patient Doug Leedy. How you doing today? I'm doing fine. At my age, though, you don't like to be called a patient. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. But you are a very patient human being. Uh, we've been trying to get this rolling because Doug has a lot of different topics uh, that we'll be covering in the next couple of months. And so we're going to kick it back off today with minorities in today's economy. But before we do that, Doug, uh, you know, they love origin story. They kind of want to know a little bit about you and maybe, of course, how you got from your one journey to this newer journey that you're doing. Sure. Uh, I am 72 years old, so I'm a little bit uh, gray. Look good, Doug. <laughs> you ought to see it from this side. <laughs> um, but I've been in real estate for almost 50 years. Uh, I've been an appraiser, I have been a realtor, I've been an investor, and now I call myself a guide. So uh, I've been through a lot of things in that period of time. Real estate's an up and down business, and I've seen both sides of it. It's very interesting, and I think we're heading into a new side again right now. So uh, I've got some ideas on how people can cope with that. But I think, Ted, it's a bigger, it's a bigger thing than that now we've got a lot of divisiveness in this country and it's tearing us apart. It's a real problem. And a, a small part of that is the fact that a lot of minorities feel like they're left out. And what we offer is a way for them to get in the game uh, in, in a big way and they can help themselves and they can help their communities. We had talked uh, earlier about humanizing real estate. And this is one of the ways that that's done. So tell us what you're talking about. We so give us the we give us the okay. um, kind of the service, the product, the company that you're talking about, uh, which is multifaceted. And we're going to take deep dives into that or at least uh, deep dive into a lot of topics in the upcoming months. But tell them what you're specifically talking about, and who you represent. OK, I'm affiliated with a company called Renatus. Renatus is a national company. And we, we create local communities of our students and our investors and our, uh, our people. And we educate people on not just real estate, but on finance, on how money works, how banks make money. We try to tie people into the real economy. You know, we all know that our school system is, has failed in a lot of ways. And this is just one of the ways. And I think we pick up the ball there big time and we can help a lot of people get in the game. And that's really what I'm all about. I've always wanted to find something that made me contribute, that, that I could make a difference with. And, and the things I've done in the past, I couldn't do that. They just weren't suited for that. But this is, and the timing is perfect, for this. So my thought is let's let's find ways to end this divisiveness. And one of the ways to do that is to get people involved in the economy yes. so that they're not just they're not just watching, they're actively involved and they're doing. So that sounds good. I think people want to find a way to do that. And that's sort of what we'll be talking about as the weeks continue. Today, we're going to focus on minorities. So uh, I love what you said. We do have a lot of divisiveness. I think there are so many uh, disenfranchised groups that are looking for ways to give back, to get involved, to raise the bar as far as uh, their economic situation, and really be invited to the table. And I think what you're going to talk about is this is a way for them to set up the table and be at the table. So let's take a deep dive into that. Tell us what we're going to talk about today. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about partnering together, working together, 
um, improving neighborhoods, improving the neighborhood that you live in, and and being able to profit from it. We just we want to create a series of win-win situations. We can we can clean up neighborhoods, improve neighborhoods, improve property values, and improve people's financial situation all at the same time. It's a this is a great concept. It's something whose time is now. And it really wasn't realistic 10 years ago, but because of all the new technologies that we have, it is now. So you can start to change the world by changing yourself. And that's what this is all about. Uh, real estate's not just about making money, but it's also about making improvements. That's what we wanna do. We teach people how to do things. Our education model, is I call it the business and education model of the future. It's online, it's available 24 seven. We have uh, uh, live classes if you want to go and take them, uh, but they're mo most everything is online. Uh, you can do MP3, we have workbooks, uh, we have interaction, we have trainings uh, multiple times every week. Uh, it, it's just, it's a wonderful concept and where the where the school systems have fallen down this picks up so you don't need a license you don't need a degree you don't need a diploma you don't need any of that to do this you can start your life over again doing this and you're doing it in probably the biggest wealth building industry in the world so that's what we're about so tell me specifically so if we have groups out there who are saying all right well I'm a, I'm in a minority. I'm a minority. <clears throat> what specifically do they do? Do they go to the web the website that's scrolling? How does it work? Take somebody through this process um, of how they can benefit from the website and what there is the program that they can be offered. Well, the web the website will give them information about what we do, who we are, and how we do it. Our our company is is new school but it's also old school and they they want us to have personal contact with people so you can't just go and enroll in our program i have to enroll you we have to have a conversation but this is this is education we have various levels of education and i can give you an example Please. of what's in our essentials program that's a that's our lowest price program and it, it involves 10 classes uh each of these classes is six to eight hours long so those classes are velocity banking which teaches you how to pay off debt quicker and pay much less in interest we have tax and legal strategies two classes for that, two days. We have self-directed retirement funds. We have understanding credit. We have real estate foundations. We have creative acquisitions, real estate red flags, deal of the decade, and negotiations. So that's over 70 hours of education right there. Wow. And Tell me how they, how do they learn more? Like, is there, uh, when they go to the site, Mm -hmm. Do they automatically, they can look at stuff and then when they want more information, they reach out to you? Yes, that's the best way. All my contact is in, information is there and it's best just to email me. It's my personal email. Uh, and, and then I can send them a course catalog. The course catalog will list every course that we have and we have 82 classes. So um, it's a rather extensive list. <laughs> and... Uh, they can get that and then we can have a conversation. I want to find out how serious people are about real estate because this is not easy. Um, there's a lot here to pick through and a lot of decisions to make. But if you are serious about real estate, the, the real estate world is big. Yes. Most people know about realtors who get a license to list and sell. But boy, there's a whole lot more to it than there. I want to know, um, you've obviously, you said you've been in the industry 50 years. As we start to wrap up, you've been in the industry, not, did you say 50? Yeah, you said 50, because I keep forgetting you really are 72. You do not look 72 at all. 
Um, what do you think about this? So you, you mentioned this market, we're going into a kind of a new thing. What do you think it is about this market? Because obviously you come from an optimistic standpoint. You come from a there is opportunity here standpoint. Um, what do you think is different about this market? What do you think the um, opportunity is for people? Because if you listen to the news, which I encourage no one to do, um, you're going to just be sad and it's all bad news and the economy is a mess and real estate's a mess. Um, I would disagree with that. So what do you think? Why would somebody go, you know what? I really want to learn more. Um, what does Doug think is going on in the world and why is this an opportunity? OK, I liken this to the 70s. In the 70s, we had an oil embargo. And if you remember, we had gas lines. Uh, we had odd, even odd number license plates that could get gas on on certain days. Uh, mortgage rates went to 14 and a half percent. I know that's hard for people to relate to, but you remember it. And prime was at 22. I don't know if it's going to go that high or not. There are a lot of factors in both directions, but they're definitely headed up. And so this is a time to prepare for the next run. We had a run. We had a problem in 07 and 08, and a lot of people got hurt. But by 2010, that had pretty much bottomed out. And people who knew how to find and purchase properties in 2000, from 2010 to 2020, made a pot full of money. Uh, adversity always creates opportunity. And so we've got adversity right now and it will lead to opportunity. So this is the time to prepare yourself. When you, when you get educated, it takes time. You don't just absorb it by osmosis. Right. It takes time. So now's the time to invest in yourself so that you're ready for that next run. And that next run can fix you for the rest of your life but more importantly, it can it can be something that you can plug your kids into and your grandkids. You just think what it would be like for your great grandchildren to know who you were because you started the family real estate business. Right. That's the kind of opportunity that is here today. Um, we have the two guys who run our South Florida operation. Uh, one is from Venezuela. One is from Colombia, and they have remarkable stories. Uh, they both came here right around the year 2000. They didn't know each other. Uh, they, neither of them spoke a word of English, and they had a couple hundred bucks in their pocket. They started out as dishwashers in, a restaurant, in restaurants because that's all they could get. They went to school at night to learn English, and it didn't take them very long to realize that real estate's the way to the wealth in the United States. So... Fast forward 20 years, those guys met each other. They decided to do some things together. And 20 years later, they have done almost 400 short sales. They are both wealthy. I can't, I don't know if they're millionaires or not, but I know they, they, they don't have to work another day in their life if they don't want to. They have done that through primarily through short sales and flipping houses, but now they're holding them. Now they're doing some long-term rentals. Uh, now they're also marketing our education, which is what I do. And and they're they're living the life. It's the American dream. They worked hard. They worked hard. Yes. And we have a big Hispanic community down here. I'm a minority. I'm a minority within our community down here. The people see the opportunity, and they do still believe in the American dream. And a lot of them are living it down here. This is uh, this is something whose time has come, and we need it badly. All right. So with that, best way for people to reach you is real-estate-knowledge.com, or I'm obviously tagged Doug in this. You can reach out to him there. Doug will put his contact information in the comments below, and then you can reach him anyway. If you can't find him, I will get you to him. <laughs> Doug Leedy, thank you so much. We did it. We're going to continue right. to do it. We're going to continue to talk about niches and specifics and really get into some nitty gritty. Thank you for being on the show, my friend. I appreciate it. Okay, Ted. Thank you. All right, guys. We'll so be long. back. This is the time. Take a look at what Doug has to offer. We'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody.